What's going on, YouTube? This is Ricky J. Welcome to another episode. And this one is going to be the Strong Man's Royal Rumble. And I just want to send a huge shout out to the guy that gave me this idea. And I can't remember his name. So if you gave me this idea, please let me know. And I will personally thank you in the comments section. All right, but this is the Strong Man's Rumble. I will not be controlling anybody here after my victory in my last attempt. Man, it was pretty dicey, but we got the victory. Spoiler alert. But um, I'll be hanging out in the booth with you. So these are going to feature really strong individuals. And leading off is the chiseled and jacked up Ultimate Warrior. Holy cow. Let's appreciate his music here. Hold on. Look at him go. <laughs> Unbelievable. He's like totally gassing himself out before the rumble. Dude, you got to walk in. What WrestleMania was it? Um, was it the WrestleMania against Savage, I think, where his music came out and he just decided to walk in instead of doing his signature sprint in, burn all your energy and lots of calories before the match started. Yeah, he just kind of walked in. So let's see who the warrior is going to face. To kick things off here. Strongman's Rumble. And I just want to say, man, thank you all so much for being here. As we, um, you know what, we're in the single digits when it comes to episodes left for this season. Which could possibly be the final season. Holy smokes, look who's coming in at two. Don't call him the narcissist. It's Lex Luger. Captain America. And I've said this before in previous videos. I always laughed growing up when, holy smokes, man, the WWE was really pushing Luger as being like the next Hulk Hogan. And it just never turned out. But they tried hard, man. They're like, why don't you rock the American flag on your shorts? Be Mr. America like Hogan was and see if the fans are going to dig you, man. And sadly, the fans did not dig him, even though he had business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> he just didn't have it, man. And then he made his trip to the WCW. But let's see if Luger could finally reign supreme and win one of the... Didn't he tie... Bret Hart in a rumble back in the day? Oh, I'm getting flashbacks. Nostalgic flashbacks. But how about the size disadvantage? Is that correct? Luger, well, just a little bit bigger. But wow, it doesn't matter about size, brother. It's about strength. Oh, and the Warrior. Man, it, oh, oh, the Warrior's fighting back. This is good to see. I was going to say he's kind of getting manhandled. But no way, it's back and forth. Back and forth, these guys. Nobody's getting the advantage. Wow. Okay, who's coming in? Superstar Billy Graham. Rest in peace. And rest in peace to the Warrior. But sadly in wrestling, you say rest in peace for too much. Who would have thought growing up that you would feel that a wrestler would just have such a short lifespan compared to the average individual? Holy cow, man. But right now... They uh, are back to life. That's the beauty of gaming, the beauty of creating here on YouTube. <laughs> so let's see what happens here. The strong man, everything's canceling each other out. Here comes Bobby Lashley, and I said this before. This is one of my favorite all-around wrestlers as far as the skill level, man. Bobby Lashley is an incredible wrestler, incredible MMA fighter as well. I think he went undefeated. I know he didn't fight the top-tier competition. But for him to have an undefeated record in MMA, I don't know what it was. Was it 5-0? Something like that. You got to respect that. He's just so strong. Oh, but Warrior giving him that bear hug. He's giving him the bear hug, and he's it's actually working. Oh, not for long, though. Oh, here comes Hogan. Now, it could have rolled with, you know, 80s Hogan. But we haven't seen Hollywood Hogan for quite some time. Oh, yeah, 24-inch pythons, brother. 
<laughs> and you won't see Savage in here, by the way. Oh, yeah, I don't categorize myself as a strong man. Savage was always undersized. But um, I was always surprised back in the day when he would body slam Hogan. I'm like, how is he doing that? That guy's six foot eight. Hogan's height, I think, was exaggerated. I don't think he was six foot eight. Well, here comes Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. And are we going to see um, some guys tinker with the tinker with the entrance numbers and come in twice there goes superstar billy graham getting thrown out like it's nothing it's gonna be interesting to see though because we all know that strength and size is what wins you these rumbles and all of these guys have that those attributes are incredible here here we go rhino at seven. Wow, nice move there by the Ultimate Warrior. Is he going to go after Hogan? Old foes coming together. Oh, he clocked him with a sneaky right hand. Wow, look at Rhino. Rhino may not have that chiseled body, but let me tell you something, brother. He's got that strength. And nice job there by Rhino. And now, oh, Luger, part of the NWO. <laughs> <laughs> Saving the Hulkster there. Here comes the Terminator. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. Here we go. Wow. Had to add a little flare inside this rumble with a little Terminator action. Arnold. It's not a Tuma. Let's see how Arnold does, but Arnold doesn't really have that wrestling background. Sadly, he doesn't have that wrestling background here. But that's okay, man. If he can pick his spots, he may have a chance. Okay, here we go. Here we go. The Rock. You think The Rock should be in here? He was strong, brother. I don't think The Rock is in the top 10 as far as the strongest guys inside this ring. But I feel like he's in the top 20. Top 25? What do you think? But right now, he's in some trouble against Rhino. And now, look at Hogan. Choke slamming the Warrior. And we've only seen one elimination, right? Superstar Billy Graham. Everybody else has been in there battling it out. There's no easy out inside this rumble. And that's what I like, man. I want highly competitive work going on here highly competitive matches and now don't tell me could the warrior be done this would be a shocker and luger will get the last laugh warriors trying to hang on he's trying to do what he can he stays alive oh no there goes the terminator I'm telling you man you got to have those hours inside the ring in the training gym in the training facility, those hours needs to be logged to do well inside this Royal Rumble. And there goes the Terminator. Didn't really get off to a good start at all. And he's already making a slow walk all swollen up and jacked. Same means the same thing. But he's going right back to the locker room. It's pretty sad, man. But how about Rhino? Wow. Wow. <laughs> and then the Rock gets up like it's nothing. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, no. There goes. Is Lashley going to be done? He's in a stunned state. Oh, yeah. He's done. And now, could Hogan get the... Oh, I was going to say. Hogan trying to get that last laugh on his old foe. Oh, Hulkster. Hulkster stays in it. Way to go on Hogan's part. Here we go. Who is coming in now, brother? Zangief from Street Fighter. And I have a question, man. Have you tried the new Street Fighter? Should I buy the new Street Fighter and feature some videos on this channel? Like, I was a Street Fighter 2 guy back in the day. I even loved... My favorite Street Fighter was Street Fighter 1, if you could believe it. Oh, there goes the Warrior. Wow, it's kind of disappointing. The Ultimate Warrior gets eliminated by Lesnar. And now is Lesnar trying to go after Zangief. Uh-oh. Zangief's got to be careful. Here we go. The countdown starting again. 
Oh, nice flying forearm. Wow, what a flying forearm by Luger, stunning the Hulkster. Here comes Paul Ondorf. I'm telling you, Mr. Wonderful was one strong dude, brother. I loved his battles with Hogan back in the day. I remember seeing Hogan and Mr. Wonderful live. I think it was in Hamilton. Nice little fireman's carry there by Wonderful. Getting technical out there. Oh. Nice backbreaker. And now could Luger be done? Could Lex Luger be out of there? No, he's not. Not out of there yet. Not out of there yet. He's fighting, brother. He's fighting. Scott Steiner at 12. And he's got the NWO music. I don't know if you can hear it. But Scotty Steiner. Wow, look at Luger. Oh, man, that was crazy. Nice power slam. Where's, St where's Scott Steiner? I don't even see him. Oh, there he is. Wow, I didn't even see him. He came in and was getting rocked right away. And our, he's already cro crawling, not crying, to the corner. Oh, nice shot by the Rock on Zangief. Oh, Rock Bottom stuns the big man. But the, the big man doing the right thing. Zangief and just crawling to the corner. Mr. Wonderful could be in some trouble here. Oh, nice elbow. A little 12 to 6 elbow there. In MMA, that's uh, highly illegal. Highly illegal. If you know John Jones, he lost because he threw a 12 to 6 elbow against Matt Hamill. And Matt Hamill is like, forget it, man. I ain't continuing. And that was the only John Jones loss, which was not a loss. He is an undefeated fighter, which is pretty incredible. Pretty incredible. What is that? Steiner, Steiner decides not to go after Rhino in that state. Oh, and Steiner grabbing that left leg. Now he's going after Rhino. No, Rhino reverses it. Wow, I'm telling you, Rhino is a gamer here. Oh, oh, and as I say that, he's on the receiving end of a DDT. Holy cow, what a battle this is. Are we gonna see? Oh man, nice job there by Mr. Wonderful. And nice knee there by Luger on Steiner. Oh, killer clothesline <laughs> by Lex Luger. And now, oh, look at this double team. Oh, no. Mr. Wonderful turned on the rock. It looked like they were going to double team. But no. Look, look at this. Oh. That is one of the nastiest moves I've ever seen in this game. Mr. Wonderful driving that neck into a candy Twizzler. Wow, man. I'm surprised. Well, Steiner's not moving. I was going to say I'm surprised he's moving. He ain't moving, brother. Zangief's got to slap his cheeks and wake him up. Oh, there goes Luger. Done. Oh, Zangief doing that same move. There goes Rhino. Big Papa Pump with an incredible elimination. And now Zangief looking left, looking right. Doesn't know where he wants to go. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, Yes, he's still in it. Whoa, there goes Wonderful. And now Hollywood Hogan. I'm telling you, top two favorite match of all time was when Hogan faced The Rock in Toronto, WrestleMania. Was that 01, 2001, 2002, something like that. I'm telling you, that was the best match. I got to say, that was my top two favorite, like I said, just because the crowd was cheering for the heel in Hollywood Hogan. They weren't cheering... A lot for the baby face, which threw me off because I was always a Hogan fan. And then Hogan started going back to his old school 80s Hogan. Flexing, hulking up. It was incredible, man. If you haven't seen that match, you got to check it out. For a casual fan or for a hardcore fan, that match is outstanding, brother. It is outstanding. Here we go. Goldberg at 13. And the thing that's really cool about this Rumble is that these guys are so competitive that there's no quick elimination. Oh, Hogan was going to drop the leg. You don't have a lot of quick eliminations. Oh, no, he's on the receiving end. F5. 
F5, and Hogan is stunned. And now, wow, jumping knee right to the upper chest there by Lesnar using a little MMA action here. It's incredible. Here comes Kane. And Kane was a strong man. Kane was absolutely strong. And he's coming in. Oh, wow. He gets ragdolled there by Scott Steiner. And now, don't tell me The Rock is done. The Rock is done. That's kind of disappointing. I know we got a lot of Rock fans out there. That is disappointing. Double neck breaker. Double neck breaker. Here we go. Who's next? The Undertaker. You will rest in peace. Let's see what The Undertaker could do here. Undertaker. Oh, nice head movement by The Taker. He's got that MMA experience. Oh, he gets slapped. And now, Kane and The Undertaker. Family. Family dispute. <laughs> Shoves him to the side. Oh, Zangief getting in the middle of this. Oh, nice agility there by Scott Steiner. Oh, and then he gets clocked by The Undertaker. And now Zangief just unloading on The Undertaker. Here we go. Who's coming in now, brother? The Hulk. Oh, big boot by Hogan. Zangief is done. Here comes The Hulk. And the Hulk, oh man. I don't really see a lot of people doing that to Brock Lesnar. But the Hulk now, wow, flatlining. The Hulk, sorry, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> the Hulk flatlining Hulk Hogan. It's tough to say, man, it's tough to say. And now could Kane eliminate The Undertaker? No way. How about this, Brock getting the advantage on the Hulk here, Lou Ferrigno. And what strength, wow, incredible strength by Big Papa Pump. He did what, like three reps <laughs> with Goldberg over his shoulders, man, over his head. Incredible. Now, the Hulkster, oh wow, it was almost stopped. But he managed to complete that suplex. I like this matchup, Brock Lesnar and Scott Steiner. All right, who's next, man? Who is next? Oh, there goes... Lesnar, wow, Bill Kazmaier. Now this guy, a lot of hardcore fans feel like he is the strongest wrestler ever. Let's see how Bill does here as he's missing on that elbow and then he, well on the receiving end of a shoulder charge. Oh, nice job by Hogan, fighting back against the Hulk. I can't believe he's doing this, brother. And now, is he going to get The Undertaker? The Undertaker can't go this easy. No, he can't go that easy. He's done. What a job by Hogan. Oh, whoa, and Hogan's getting lucky here. Hogan's stunned. Watch out, Hulkster. Oh, no. He's going to get choke slammed. Is he going to save himself? He's got a chance. Is he? He is. That's incredible. He saved himself from that elimination. That's hard to do. Oh, no, he just gets eliminated. Here comes Batista. There it goes. Wow, I'm telling you, the Hulk is a huge problem here, man. He is an absolute huge problem. How cool are the shoes, the boots, the wrestling boots of Batista? All tatted up. Oh, boy. But Goldberg, wow. Suplex transitioning into a slam. And now he's going after Bill Kazmaier. As Bill... Slowly getting to his feet. He's a little stunned here, Bill is. Bill doesn't know what hit him. Bill doesn't know what hit him. Let's see what happens here, brother. Mark Henry, the world's strongest man on. I'm telling you, I hope Mark Henry wins this, man. I know you got to be kind of neutral when you're commentating. But who doesn't love a little Mark Henry? Oh, no. Oh, nice knee by Kane. But luckily, there's not a lot of traffic near Mark Henry. He could relax. He can get into that corner and just gather himself. It's actually good for Henry. He was only on the receiving end of one shot. And then he had an opportunity to regroup. And now he's back going after Bill. 
Oh, nice reversal. And here comes Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant. He would kind of, in his time, man, he would kind of ragdoll people, make them look like little toys. And now he's in here using that booty to his advantage. And doing a great job he is. He's going to do it again. <laughs> he's using that booty as his primary source of offense. How can you not love that, brother? How can you not love that by Andre? Wow. And then Andre showcasing his agility. Here comes the British Bulldog. And I love the British Bulldog. I wanted to put him in here. He was one strong dude, brother. And I'm just thinking right now, I should have put in... Ken Shamrock, but he was the world's most dangerous man, not the world's strongest man, but he was strong. He was definitely one strong customer, but didn't make it this time. Maybe we'll do a part two, because we can go on. We could put Thanos, He-Man. I didn't put He-Man in just because He-Man, he's already going to the Champions Rumble, brother. And if you're new to this, at the end of these episodes we do a one final champions rumble where we put all the champions into one rumble and crown the ultimate champion oh that would have been big for kane that would have been big for kane but he doesn't get it i'm telling you if these wrestlers that are in here they got to focus their attention on the hulk now kane's buffering oh no I'm telling you, you give Hulk some opportunity to stay in here. How about that strength by British Bulldog? If you didn't think the Bulldog had it in him, he is one strong customer. That was big on Batista. But yeah, I feel like the Hulk, if there's like a four or five guys left, he is going to be a huge threat. And how about Henry? Everybody getting in on the shoulder presses. What a job by Henry, and Henry's taking advantage of the size advantage here on the Bulldog. Oh, Batista getting stopped. Oh, boy, no. Don't do it to Batista. Guardians of the Galaxy, brother. He's getting set. What? He just crushed his head. He even threw a punch. And now the Hulk giving the greatest massage ever to Andre the Giant. He's putting him out. Andre has passed out. But the Hulk deciding to go after the British Bulldog. Oh, nice job by the Bulldog. Man, the Bulldog trying to now utilize his speed in this situation. He can't go strength for strength against the Hulk. He won't stand a chance. And he's just, man, totally undersized here. He is one big monster. That's the Hulk. And now Bill getting thrown out of there. What a job by Mark Henry. Now to the corner is the Bulldog. And finally we're seeing the Hulk slow down a bit here. Here comes the Big Show. Here comes the Big Show. And now Mark Henry. Oh, there's no way. There is no way that the British Bulldog is going to do this to Mark Henry. How about this? The Battle of the Giants. The strong giants indeed. Wow, sizing each other up. Looks like Andre's got a slight height advantage. He's incredible stuff. I'm telling you, the Hulk is still sticking around. Kane's got to send him out of there. For the other wrestlers to have a chance. Is he going to do it? I don't think he's going to do it, brother. He ain't going to do it. He doesn't have the strength. And the Hulk, oh yeah, Hulk is staying alive here. So what number are we at now? Here we go, what number are we at now? Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash, and shout outs to Sid Justice, Sid Vicious, I didn't put him in here. But Kevin Nash is one tough customer, one strong individual, I would say. Oh, wow, using that size, that length, using gravity to stop that attack right there. Way to go. Now, you got Nash. Is he going to do it? Oh, big booties eliminate the big show. 
He's eliminated the Big Show. I can't believe it. And now the Hulk. Kane's always been after the Hulk here. But the Hulk quickly with a recovery. And you see how the British Bulldog, he came running to his aid, man. He's like, I could do it with you, brother. But now he's on the receiving end of a choke slam. Here we go to the corner. And now Kane. Kane's utilizing all of his energy or using all of his energy on one guy. It's the Hulk. How dare you, brother? Well, if he gets this, it would be the best strategy ever. But if he doesn't, he just gas himself out with all these attempts. And now the world's strongest man, Mark Henry, staying in it. And Andre's still in there. The Bulldog. Oh, man, the Bulldog's just taking more beatdowns than he's dishing out. Braun Strowman. Nice hip toss there. And then Nash. Man, feels like the British Bulldog just can't compete here. He is strong. Now he goes with the sloppy right hand that lands. Kind of stuns Nash, and there he goes. Going with a quicker attack, and now he's using his speed. Oh, but Mark Henry stuck out that leg. He stuck out that leg. Like you're going to get your test paper back in the day, and your buddy sticks out the leg so you fall. That was always the worst. Classes were in rows, and they would... Get that one buddy or one foe that stick out their leg and trip you on your way to the front of the class. <laughs> fun, fun stuff, man. But I'm telling you, what's not fun is Kane's adventure here in this ring. He has been trying his best to get some eliminations, especially on the Hulk. He's been failing, and now he's starting to fatigue. And Braun Strowman is unfortunately being... No, no. Double team by Andre and the Bulldog. But how much strength can the Bulldog use here? How much can he share? And the answer is not enough, brother. The answer is not enough. And now Braun Strowman grabbing that beautiful hair of Andre. <laughs> Andre had the best hair when he was a, a baby face, man. And um, he grew it out. It was incredible. Wow, that Braun Strowman with a nice show of strength. And now we're gonna see a tombstone. Wow, oh, it was reversed. How cool is that? Strowman reversing it. Oh, there goes the Bulldog. Kind of unfortunate, but he was a fish out of water. Let's be honest here, this whole time. But that was so cool how they kind of cartwheeled into a different position. Oh, there goes the Hulk. And it's only fitting that the world's strongest man is the guy to do it. And that is, uh, it's going to put a, a nice little sigh of relief in the minds of these competitors here. Because the Hulk was uh, a big guy with big stats. And now he is done. And oh my gosh, man. You got three guys, almost four guys laying there on the canvas. And now <laughs> the massage parlor's in session. Because Mark Henry... He's really giving it to uh, Strowman. It feels so good that he's he's passed out. He has passed out. Oh, look at him taking a nice little nap. And now the rest of these guys, Kane getting to his feet. Goldberg getting to his feet. Here comes Mike Awesome at 25. Let's see how Mike Awesome could do here. <laughs> Let's see if he does awesome. He is a big guy, man. He looks like Bruce the Barber Beefcake on st serious steroids. Oh, what's Andre doing? Mike Awesome had an awesome opportunity to get that elimination on Strowman. And it was kiboshed. And now, don't tell me. No, no, don't do it. I want to see Awesome in there longer. Reverse it, brother. Reverse it. No. How dare you? Here comes Big Daddy Dino Bravo. Fellow Canadian. Wow, Dino Bravo. Look at that booty. <laughs> and right away, teaming up with Mark Henry. That was a good move by Dino Bravo. With the old Fleur de Lis. That is amazing, man. The Fleur de Lis on those shorts. And now he's got to watch out. Oh, no. There goes Mark Henry. Mark Henry is done. Oh, big choke slam there by Strowman. Goldberg still in it. 
But barely in it <laughs> is Strowman as well. And Kane still inside this ring. Fighting hard. Same with Nash. Here we go. Oh, no. He's done. Oh. Oh, Dino Bravo saving Braun Strowman. Here we go, brother. Omas. Wow, Omas. Coming in at 27. This guy's a big boy. Absolute tank. No. Don't tell me Goldberg is going to be done here. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, Goldberg. He survives. What a job by Goldberg. And they did. Did they have that in WWE 2K22 when you're in that vulnerable state? Were you able to reverse that when you're getting choke slam eliminated? I am not too sure. Can't remember. Here comes Superman at 28. Oh, man. Anybody but Superman. Let's be honest. Superman with the cape. No cape. Oh, flying high and missing. Superman won a season before. He's won many rumbles on this channel. And we just can't seem to shake off the Superman. I just want to see variety. And when we do these rumbles, everything is randomized. So we don't know who's coming in and when. That's what makes it fun for me and you. There goes Goldberg. Here comes John Cena at 29. John Cena at 29. Oh, boy, baby. Oh, and a lot of people say, or a lot of wrestlers say, that the strongest guy they ever worked with is Mr. John Cena. You can't see me. They said that he's just so incredibly strong. Oh, and he's eliminated Strowman. Unbelievable work by Cena. One of the smaller competitors here, but that doesn't matter. As Aaliyah would say, age ain't nothing but a number. Height ain't nothing but a number here in this Rumble. It's all about strength and power. But height actually does help. But when guys are strong like this, anything is possible. From now on, until the day I die, every time I hear anything is possible, I think of Kevin Garnett. Back, was that in 08? When his team beat... Man, when his team beat... Oh, my dog's barking crazy. Uh, the Lakers. Holy cow. Hold on, I'm going to pause. I don't know why my dog's barking. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Holy cow, man. Don't need a doorbell when you got a dog. <laughs> back to the action. It's Tony Atlas. Tony Atlas coming in as the final piece to this puzzle, brother. And let's see how Atlas does. Andre the Giant. Oh, welcoming Atlas with a unbelievable slam. Don't tell me Bravo. No! Oh, I was hoping for Dino Bravo to bring some championship. I would say, uh, what do you call it? It's not apparel. Championship something. <laughs> I forget. Back to Canada. Hardware, that's right, brother. Hardware. But here we go. Wow, double DDT. Superman and Cena. And now when friends become foes, Superman, don't tell me. He's going to launch Cena out of here. Cena, fight back, brother. Fight back. Fight back. No. He is done. And now we're down to the final four. Superman, Omas, Tony Atlas, and Andre the Giant. Oh, I don't think you can pick up that big boy. Can you pick up that big boy? Uh-oh. Don't tell me. It takes one big chop. And Omos could be done. Oh, but Superman. <laughs> look at Superman. Oh, Superman getting shoved to the side. That is some great stuff. And now. Oh, Andre. It's giant versus giant. Tony Atlas with the right hand. And a shot to the upper back. And a double axe handle. And another. He can't seem to get the big man down. Nice head movement there by Andre. And now Andre with the belly to belly. Wow. Atlas's strength. Oh. And it looked like he was trying to do a swinging neck breaker on the invisible Cena there. Because that was a botched move indeed. And now Superman. Is he going to get flown out of here? Wow. What upper body. Wow. Look at that strength by Omos. He picked him up with one hand while he was on the ground. 
That is some unbelievable work by the big man here. Wow. And I've never seen you've never seen anybody manhandle Superman like this. No, don't turn your back on him. There he goes. Oh, with the big leather boot. And oh no. Oh, here the Giants are going after each other. Atlas is busted wide open. Tony Atlas is busted wide open. And he's trying to shake that off like Taylor Swift. <laughs> oh, nice job. I'm telling you, the upper body strength of these guys are keeping them in. They're not getting thrown over that top rope as often as we've seen. See that right there? Wow, wow. Omas flatlining everybody. And now, oh man. I was going to say Superman. That was some wishful thinking. A guy that had all that momentum. You think you're going to grapple him and then take him out? Oh, wow. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, vicious. Oh, no. Tony Atlas is done. Tony Atlas is done. Now we're down to Superman. Omas. Oh, boy. Oh, he gets saved. And now it's Superman. Oh, man. It's just like these the bodies are getting in the way. Not allowing guys a clear path to those side ropes. And how about this? Oh, stinky boot. And then he tried a, a steaming headbutt. He tried to walk right at him and give him that headbutt. And now, oh, oh, that must hurt. Oh, sweet chin music. Superman landed it. And now, could Andre be done to the corner? Oh, Andre counter elbow. Andre shaking it. Now lifting up Superman. Superman with the reversal. Oh, but a no-look elbow by Andre. And now he's sucking the life out of Superman. He is sucking the life out of him. And this is good, though, for Andre slowing that pace down. And now finally Superman. Oh, clapping those ears. But he's in the middle of two massive trees. This is tough. For the Man of Steel here. Oh, and then a shot. Oh, what head? I'm telling you, Andre the Giant has the greatest head movement in this Rumble. His head movement is just elite tonight, brother. And now he decides to go the long route here. Oh, and Superman, as they always say, should have been mining his beeswax here. And now, don't tell me. Oh, Omas trying to save him. Here we go. The battle of the big man to finish off the strongman rumble. Big boot by Omas. And now a left hand and a right hand. Oh, now is he going to choke slam the big man? No. Andre says no way. But we've never seen somebody throw Andre the Giant around like this. Then a big slap. Now Andre stunned. Could this be it? Could this be it? Here we go, Andre's hanging on. Wow, how did he survive that even while he was stunned? How did he do it? I don't get it. I feel like the pace is too much for Andre. Omas is putting on a pace that Andre can't match. And now it seems like Andre, oh, on the receiving end of a big boot. This could be it for him. Oh, no way. He reverses him and then, oh. Both competitors. Oh, if that was anybody else, I think he would have been done. If that was anybody else, I think it would have been done. But both competitors showing their championship heart. Back to the corner again. And now Andre, does he have nothing left? Does he have nothing left? I think it could be. Is it quite not <laughs> over? <laughs> it ain't over. It ain't over yet. And now they're back to a neutral position. Are you kidding me? Staring at each other, saying to themselves, what do I got to do to eliminate this man? They're both in a full sweat. Now they go for the stare down. And now the double choke slams him down. Andre just can't match up with the younger Omos. And now to the corner. I think this could be it. How many lives does Andre have? <laughs> Andre headbanging in the corner. <laughs> Andre's headbanging. Don't tell him he's going to turn him over. Is he going to not do it? 
I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Now he's going with the double choke slam. Here it is. Oh. Oh, now Andre getting a little bit of advantage. Going with the skull action. And throwing him down. Holy cow. And now could this be it? It's over. Andre the Giant has done it. How incredible is that? Andre the Giant has punched his ticket to the Champions Rumble. Wow, man. What a rumble. And Andre showcasing why he is one of the strongest wrestlers ever. And he has punched his ticket. And he'll be back inside the Champions Rumble. We've seen him before. And it's nice we'll see him again in the finale of this season. Anyways, guys, Ricky J, man. Much love to you and yours. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.